And I get three more levels. And oh. Ooh, we're close. We are close. So three more levels and I get another slot to spend. Although I'll also have to figure out how to deal with power consumption because I'm already capping out most of the time anyway. What kind of new stuff do I have? Vanadium ESL increases max energy, scales with core power. We're getting we're getting higher in the range of your scaling now. In the four to twelve range, this one's a nine, so it's closer to the end than the beginning now. What are these ones like now? Yeah, the ten to the ten to thirty five ones are now at twenty six. The twenty to seventy one is now at plus thirty. Increases maximum stamina. Applies a physical damage boost to weapons. Ah, that one was 0 0.09. This one, uh, this one's just one. So twice as effective. Hmm. Decreases, uh, increases stamina regeneration when energy is high. The endurance array. The cables are the same as before. I can kind of go a lot of different ways with some of the stuff. Let's see, I've got the Voltaic Dynamo. More energy from attacks means I can potentially heal more. But more stamina could keep me alive. My goal is to go fight a boss fight at the moment, and the boss fight... I do really like... <sighs> My goal is to go after a boss fight next, I think. And a boss fight... The health's on the screen regardless, so it's not the biggest priority. Whereas more maximum stamina would be nice. Goes from 85 to 97. Hmm. I'm a little bit torn. The rough thing is that just being able to see how much health your enemy has really affects my decision making during combat at times. Which won't be relevant for the boss fight, but I do probably still have more enemies between here and there. I could trade a smaller amount of health. Wait, that was an injector. Whoops. I think I already traded away all my health boost, didn't I? Besides that's the big one. And the big one seems like one worth keeping. I don't know, it's kind of a small amount of stamina. It's only 12 stamina versus being able to see health bars, and I don't know how many more fights we're gonna deal with. And more energy key- I, I don't know, I think the more energy has good... synergy or whatever with my... my energy-based healer. I think I'm gonna want to have it sit there. Look at my mask. Do I have it yet? Hey, um, it's called. Ma I really. I apparently have not have found it. Hey, don't forget about me, okay? I'm counting on you here. Wasn't sure if I found it or not, so I thought I'd check. Please remember, safety at work is our highest priority and should be yours. God damn. Dude was not ready. Alright, so we've rested, which means I think all the enemies are respawned. I want to try this place out. I've been worried about them, but I have nothing to lose at the moment. Like a weird checkpoint set up to fight me. First, uh, yeah, first thing I want to see is if I could aggro one at a time. But he's got cool stuff. I want to know what it's, what's his weapon. Uh oh, other other guy aggroed. Ah. I would like to have your weapon. Yeah. 
MG negotiator. I bet that's what she wanted. Wait, do I have two? MG negotiator. I at least have the recipe for it now or something too. They weren't so tough. I was more worried than necessary, apparently. I bet that's what she wanted for the quest, though, and if I, I probably could hand that in. Oh, it's one of those things I've been worried about. No? I thought the checkpoints would react to you more on the spot. Oh. Clearance could not be confirmed. Oh. What if I have to kill those two guys so many times that I have the schematics for all of their equipment, and then dress up like them, and then try to open the doors while I'm dressed like them. Oh, boy. I could see that being it. Welcome, Warren. I have the full rhino set now, I think. Helm, chest, both arms, both legs are the only pieces, right? I think. Got the MG Negotiator recipe. I definitely wonder... I definitely wonder whether or not, uh... You can dress up as them if you get all their pieces and then that gets lets you through those, uh... Security Remember, things. Safety at work is our highest priority and should be yours. That would be a kind of significant amount of grinding to do. Okay, I'm not really using staves so far. So if I can hand that off to her and then the quest for her for seeds or something, then I'm cool with that, because I can always make my own copy. God damn. Oh. Dang it. Just had to get a hit in the last second, huh? He's down those stairs. Ah, yeah. I'm a bit heavier than last time I saw you. Hey. Shouldn't you be searching a staff for me? What if I told you I have what you need? Usually, saying that is a prelude to disappointment, but hey, I'm game. So, let's see what you've got. Well, this one comes with best regards from Creo's security. Hmm. A striking argument in each negotiation. Boy, oh boy, you make me happy. I owe you. It's nice to know chivalry isn't dead. Better get going now. And just as I was getting to know you. Yeah, well, there didn't seem to be any more dialogue between us. I actually changed weapons. And the weird hologram thing disappeared, kind of. Huh. Hey! Enjoying your stay on the funny farm? Better get going now. And just as I was getting to know you. That's her new dialogue, now that she has a different item. Heh <laughs> It breaks her animation. She has a default standing animation where she stands holding her staff, like it's gonna be prepped on the, uh, prop, uh... Leaning against the ground, like she's leaning on it. That's how people hold staves. But the staff is shorter, so it's floating. It's, it clearly pivots where the bottom stays still and the top moves when she moves around, as if it's supposed to be fixed into the ground, but the staff just isn't long enough for the animation they made. So it doesn't work. It's floating above the ground as a result. So it looks like she's just physically holding it up with the, with the strength of her body, which is a really counterproductive way to hold a staff. People don't generally hold a staff directly in front of them with one arm as if they're doing, like, the penultimate episode of a, of a season of Survivor. Because that's what that'd be like. People know what that means anymore. I don't even- not only do I not know if people know what that means, but I don't even know if I have a relevant memory anymore of Survivor because I haven't watched it for so long. But for many seasons of Survivor, the penultimate episode, when there was three uh, contestants left, was some kind of endurance challenge that was pro usually some kind of physically painful, incredibly time-consuming challenge where you're basically standing in place in a really uncomfortable position or having to stay balanced on something 
like a narrow thing, like like standing on a narrow platform over a lake or something, where if you if you lost your balance, you'd fall into the lake, that kind of stuff. Uh, I have more to bank, right? Yeah, oh, only a little bit though. So the pen, and that was that was just consistent as the penultimate episode was always that kind of challenge. Take care. Bye bye. It was the penultimate episode, but it was the final challenge, because after that, it's the, the... Everyone who was ever voted off then votes on who of the final two contestants gets to win the whole show. Yeah, the la but the, penult the second to last episode was always this incredibly long challenge where for like eight hours, pro in some cases, people just put themselves through pain. Right, well, now enemies are everywhere, so my phobia of being surrounded is kind of moot. Let's go upstairs before this guy sneaks up on me. Or he just doesn't aggro at all, I guess. I guess that's valid. That's what you're into. And I've got nothing to lose, so I might as well try out my idea. This is a good idea. Oh wait, I'm on- Ooh. Standing up here now. Huh. Anyway. Woohoo! That felt good, right? You alright? Unfortunately, I didn't lock onto any of the parts of his body, so I didn't get, uh... Is that guy, is that guy aggroed? I didn't lock onto a specific part of his body, so I didn't get the actual stuff you normally get from that. Not enough to just do a finisher. In order to do the chop thing correctly, you have to lock onto a part. Oh boy. Oh, I heard him I heard him pick up pace to attack me, but he ran into a wall. Get out of the poopy. Get out of the poopy. It occurs to me that their suit is probably making them immune to this stuff. That's probably why it's a full face mask. So if I can make a full set of it, you might be immune to the radiation stuff. They might do something interesting with that. The game might give you a reason for crafting each set in the game. Like if you craft this Enviro set that these guys have, maybe you're immune to all the poopy shit that's everywhere. And maybe if you put the security set on, you can open security doors. That'd be one way of in that'd be one way of giving you more reasons to craft stuff than just getting one set and min maxing it. Wasn't this area full of gas a second ago? I'm not giving up on you. I won't hear it said that Benjamin Burke let down his team. I've marked the way to the outbound station. There's big red letters saying exit. Even you can't, Mrs. Smithy. <laughs> I must be on my way to finding that guy at this point. He's giving me exit signs. Is that gonna be nearby? Exit. <laughs> yep, with an arrow. Respirators and biohazard suits required beyond this point. Welp. I do have a respirator on. I don't have a biohazard suit though. Oh, that does that mean the gas? I wonder. I wonder if that means that I'm immune immune to the gas now, but not immune to stepping in it. Hello, giant obvious boss fight room. How are you doing? Doing all right? Can't wait. Uh, how much is on me? Only half a thousand. It doesn't really matter. I can just lose it if I need to. Hi! Uma, you really are infringing on my personal uh, space. Oh, he's flying. Oh boy. That's a cool trick you got there. How do I fight you? I'm scared. I know, I'll go under him. Oh, that was a bad idea. He spun. Ow. God, the da damage is high. Alright, so far I've done no damage, so that's a good sign. None of them are highlighted as being vulnerable. Also a good sign. 
All right. And bait an attack from him. Oh, God. Ow. When do I get to hit him? Every time I attack him during my animation, he hits me back. Ooh. Ow. Oops. I think I did sufficient damage to one limb that uh, he stumbled. God, hitting him is hard, especially since the part that faces me the most is the part that I can't directly target. There we go. Ow, dick. God damn it. That hit me too? Come on, man. Pew pew. Oh. Look at him spinning. Does he have fewer legs now? He does. God damn it. <laughs> I'm amazed by how much I just could outright miss his my, my attacks. What is happening to me right now? You're right. Oh, fire. Fire bad. Oh, fire bad. Oh, fire bad. He seems displeased with me at the moment. Okay. Uh, how do I fight this version of him? Yeah, I'm still feeling really iffy about how much damage things do in this game. Like, giant mega ultra boss fight m zord monster robots happening. And then I'm like, alright, where do I hit him? How do I... <laughs> like, you have to experiment inherently in order to fight him, because it's such a weird new thing. But every time I experiment, I'm punished by an instant death, and I'm like, well, alright, cool, thanks. We'll see next time what I learn. <laughs> All right, next up we see how well I can find my way back there. Should be a quick trip. Should I change my setup? Uh, oh, cool, the time re-pauses. I wasn't really thinking about that. Hmm. I'm a bit torn with what to do. Dah! Definitely don't need health screens for where we're going. Increased drone damage is actually kind of tempting. Actually don't have space for drones, do I? Nope. I'm just gonna go for some raw health. That's the best I can do for now. Have a nice day, Warren. Bye. Leave me alone. Oh god, I don't want to pick up the. Oh, I don't want to pick up my scrap in a boss chamber. That's not a happy thing to think about. Eh, it's half a thousand. I can just try. I can just ignore it. 
until it's- oh no, I can't- Well, I can. I can just ignore it, but I was thinking like, I'll just ignore it until I beat the boss fight, then pick it up. Like in Sark Souls games, but the boss fight won't be over in two minutes. Probably. That crate wasn't there last time, was it? I don't remember there being a crate there last time, but it was there before before, but not last time. I'm... The, the status of the crate is getting indeterminate and strange. Let's see, what was the fastest route from here to boss fight? It was like right down through there. Attack! You've been ambushed, Dudo! Hey, buddy. You seem to have regrown your legs. Can you stop regrowing your legs? Pew him, pew pew him with your guns. Ow. Got stuck in that for longer than I meant to. Oh, lock on just turned off. Weird. Shoot him with their guns! Yeah! Get out. Oop. Hitting him in the core gives you all sorts of energy, doesn't it? Oof! No thank you. Ow. Alright, so phase one's pretty quick. Now that I know that my goal is to knock some legs down over and over again, you can just bait the attack over and over again. This this part's gonna be interesting though. Yep. Yep. <laughs> All right. So the clearly the camera's his weak spot, right? All right, well, that didn't hit shit. <laughs> Ow, by the way. Ow. Ow! Damn it, I thought that was my opening. Ah. Uh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Do you have fewer legs than before? I think you do. I don't want to be in that fire, I don't think. Yeah. It's really hard to hit a guy that's flying. <laughs> I'm trying to. My attacks just miss, though. Oh, right. Vertical hits for a swing would be the better choice than a horizontal one. I'm defaulting to what I think of as being the fast button as opposed to the thinking in terms of what direction it swings in. Its legs are still coming off. I wonder if I can just disable its ability to attack me with them by attacking all of his legs one by one. Is he out of legs? Uh, that's not attached to him anymore, it's just stuck in the ground. <laughs> 
What an animation. All right. What attacks do you have left? You have a ground pound, I guess. Oh, that was a miss. Oh, that's one to watch out for. Okay, I'm not even going to walk into that. So he has a spinny fire attack and a ground pound and the one V of fire. And that's it, right? He can't melee me anymore because he doesn't have any legs, which is kind of amazing as a boss design. That's fantastic. I'm just afraid to attack him. There we go. I'm, I'm trying to bait that attack. Because if he, if he does a ground pound, then I can I can try to attack him back. If he doesn't do a ground pound, then I'm just afraid he's going to do a ground pound. So I don't want to start an attack because he'll respond with a ground pound that does like 90 plus damage. So I'm trying to bait the ground pound. But he likes his fire. He really likes his fire. What's he doing? Is he charging me? Yep. Haven't seen that one yet, this fight. Look at me taking damage. Was that just fire on the floor or what? Please do a ground pound. It's the only way I'm ever safe to attack you. Otherwise, you might ground pound me mid attack. God damn it. Ah. Wow, how did I not get hit by fire? Oh, is he charging? Yep. I don't know how I'm not getting hit in those moments with this fire everywhere. Huh. It occurred to me that that V doesn't really defend him when I'm right on him. Huh. Kind of he kind of starts running out of ways to fight you when his legs are gone. Oh well. I just really didn't want to start over. So I was being careful. You dropped me a weapon, like last time? Firebug Throttle V2 Twin Rigged. Ooh. Oh my god. Look how fast you can get. Son of a bitch. Oh, that would be so satisfying to be that fast all of a sudden. It's tempting. I might give it a go just to see how it goes. Especially if it requires... Let's see. It's already a Mark II weapon, so it's the same rank as my other one. This one does 68, this one does 24. So less than half, as you'd kind of expect from a weapon that fast. That's proficiency scaling. It's also high. 5% bonus energy gain as opposed to 70%. Yeah. I don't know, being that fast could be really nice. I'll give it a chance. Hmm. Pachum. Oh, my proficiency is going to be so bad, though. <laughs> Level 1. Uh, starting over. Uh, such mixed feelings about the proficiency scaling thing. Like, you start off with a one-handed weapon, and the proficiency scaling kind of encourages you to spend the rest of the game with said one-handed weapon. And when you eventually find a staff or twin rigged for the first time, it's like, oh, I could try it, but I have to start over. What am I going to do? Run in circles and grind until the proficiency level levels up and then continue? But then, you'd, but then the, the, uh, the tech scrap you'd have from grinding would make you overleveled. And if you didn't, uh, and you'd have to throw it away manually if you were trying to specifically not become overleveled via using it. Hi. I think I've been here before. Ah, Jesus Christ. That was damaging. Holy crap. Hmm. 
God damn. Stab him with one, then uh, decapitate with the other. Let's see, should I consider this a little bit? Uh, wondering if I just try to brighten it a little bit at least. I'm just aware of the fact that this game is dark at some points. So I'm trying to make the video more watchable. That was just a shortcut to where I was earlier, right? Pretty sure it was. Nope, well here we, here we go again. And he's dead! I'm not as 1,000% sure that this is new as I'd like to be. Oh yeah, I remember going through here in this in this direction before. Okay, so I passed by that door and it was locked before. Now I remember. Oh yeah. Okay, so now I'm... That's, that's one question answered. My energy gain is going to be so garbage with these weapons though. Good thing about fast is I can get some attacks in without them being able to fight back. And uh, it curbs the issue of all those enemies that keep being faster than me. The downside is that uh, it's not stunning very much and it's not gathering a lot of energy or doing a lot of damage and that can go bad. HSS Biomaster weapon acquired. What the hell? Another staff. Even higher level staff, I think? Yeah, uh, uh, you know, weapon... How do I... Oh, there's no categories. I was trying to change to, to weapon categories to see a specific thing. But can I... Is it already sorted by type? No, it's not, because that's single rigged and that's single rigged. But then it goes one-handed, heavy duty, heavy duty, twin rigged, one-handed. I don't think this is sorted. Oh well, these are my two stabs at the moment. So two more damage than the other one. I assume the main difference is it does fire damage? It doesn't mention fire damage anywhere on it though. Details? Ooh. Okay. Now I'm wondering how the, where the 21 comes from. It does 14 elemental damage, 7 slash, 6 thrust. Which means 21 somehow. But 14 plus 7 is 21 and then there's... It must be based on the slash damage. Like the type of attack causes the specific attack to happen, and it's just picking one of them as being the main one. Yeah, this one is elemental in nature, so it depends on whether or not they're weak to that element. Oops. The numbers go all, all over the place. 68 to 50. So defeating the fire boss gives you a series of fire weapons you'll be shocked to find. Part of me definitely does find the staff a little bit more appealing than the, uh the twin rigged. Twin rigged feels really vulnerable. It's fast, but so low range. And so low damage. Or twin, whereas the staff has range, at the very least. These are lower level, though. Whereas this is my big old tank weapon. Which works for now, I suppose. We finally found our little thief. It's probably the same culprit who's been hitting the lab storerooms. She ended up dropping a purloined Biomaster in a hurry to get away. Looks like she was heading towards the old abandoned labs. I'll file a full report when I get back. Security can handle this one from here on out. Yeah, 
Anyone in here or am I safe to go? See, I'm gonna, I want to get back to camp first and see if I can upgrade certain things. Eh, let's play around with you a little more. You're already upgraded to Mark II. So the okay. guy... I'm sorry, but... I just can't wait any longer. I hope you're okay, that you're still out there. That you found a safe place. I'm going to take the maglev to the old bio labs now. Try to get there if you can. I'll be waiting. My thoughts and prayers are with you. Maybe all your friends died because you called for them to go through the giant mega boss fight in order to get to you. Oh, I bound train station right here. So go down there and I'll get to where he is. What's over here? Is this like a sh that might be a door that opens up like a shortcut to a previous zone. Oh, drone spot. We don't have a lot of moments for those guys to show up. Oh, upgrade to uh, to a Biotex power core or Botex. We can't open the circulation tower. Well, yeah, Jesus, stuff for forcefully explodes near you with such force that like. It just, it feels like a poltergeist is blowing up crates around you. It's just really startling. Is this my jump down and attack the guy spot? Yeah, the spot where I jump down to attack him. That, that door is open now. This is, that's this one. Ooh, that door is open now. I don't think I opened that door yet, did I? Decontamination in progress. Ow. There we go. Taking his legs off. You were locked, right? I think you were. Oh, it's this. Oh, it's here. Ah, Jesus. Go away. I don't want to fight you. Go away. Oh, my God. Wait, what did I just do? That was cool. That was the coolest thing. <gasps> oh my god, that's my running attack? Oh man, cue the jet grind radio music. You can keep doing it too. You don't really- you don't even need a running start, you just need to start pressing the run button. And you can instantly launch into a running attack. Oh, that's pretty neato. That's pretty neato. I wonder if I should go forward or if I should go the DLC area. I do think that train was the DLC area. I just have no idea when the best time is to play it. Let's be honest. In the last couple of decades, things haven't been too great. We know. We've seen the figures. And that's why we created Project Resolve. But with an ailing population, developmental problems, disability rising, and an alarming rate in children, some would have you believe it's too late. At least that's what elements in the media would have you believe. But Creo has you covered. From family daycare centers to full medical coverage, your family is our family. The average workplace can be littered with hazards. But at Creo, we're proud to say we never had more than a stealth With the implementation of our rigs, we've made you stronger, faster, tougher. The rigors of the workplace won't even give you pause. And due to the integration of your neural interface into Creo's core system, our professional healthcare staff can monitor your well-being 24-7. 
If that doesn't make you sleep tight, I don't know what will. They think they're just fixing the whole damn world. You know what really makes me realize how much Creo cares is how you have to say it every five minutes to remind everybody. Makes it extra convincing, you know? 